welcome back to the channel homies winks here if you haven't already go ahead and click that like and subscribe button that way you never miss out on anything that i upload today we're going to be talking about disgaea 4 and how you can instantly take any character from level one to max level in just one fight took our character from level one to 9999 Before we jump into it, I'm going to be talking about a few things. Just keep in mind as we're going through the video that this is a very post-game uh, thing to do in Disgaea 4. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few uh, talking points uh, that you'll need to get up to this point. I'm not going to go into detail about them, but I am going to go over them so you know kind of what you need to do this. And then I'm going to demonstrate to you that this works. And then later on, I'm going to drop some videos going over each individual thing that I talk about today to get you to this point where you can do this. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you're going to need, as you can see here on the screen, but and both of these kind of go hand in hand. The first thing you're going to need is the puppy paw stick, and then you're going to need some equipment that are loaded up with statisticians. Um, and as you can see from this character that I've got right here, I've got four pieces of equipment and each one of them are loaded down with statisticians. I have eight statisticians on each piece of equipment so four times eight you've got 32 statisticians here they cap out at 300 and they are stackable in Disgaea 4 so the more of these that you have on your character the more experience you can get when you're leveling these characters up uh, again, I'm not going to go in detail on how you get these statisticians and the puppy paw stick, but the, uh, because that's going to be a later video and there's a lot of detail into that alone. Uh, but just be aware that to do this and pull this method off, you are going to need those statisticians. The, the puppy paw stick, I bring that up because it is used to duplicate an item to get more of that item and it also duplicates the innocence in that item so you're gonna need that to help you get the statisticians faster the next thing that I'm gonna show you that you're gonna need there's actually a couple things that you're gonna need so you're going to need <clears throat> at least uh, 400 CP in the cheat shop total once you've done all the post game missions you can get a total of a thousand CP um, and you get though you get uh, like a hundred CP for each post game mission that you do, uh, and there's about ten of those. So when it's all said and done, you should have a thousand. But minimum, you're gonna need four hundred because we are going to be going into the land of carnage, which is uh, another video, like I said, on in itself. Uh, but this is this method is going to be pulled off by going into the land of carnage. You are also going to need access to the last Mount Ordeal map. <clears throat> now, uh, that is also, all this is going to be done in post game, like I said. Uh, but you're going to need Mount Ordeal 4 to pull this off. And we're going to go to Mount Ordeal 4 in the Land of Carnage, not the normal one. So you're going to need those in addition to the statisticians on your character as well. So the last couple of things that you're going to need to pull this off is you're going to need a character with the Big Bang attack because as you can see here on the screen, uh, it's a 3x3 three three attack. Uh, so we're going to go to that last Mount Ordeal map and <clears throat> we're going to be using this ability to level up the character that we are leveling. Um, you're also going to need in addition to that because that alone will not pull this off but in addition to that you are going to need to make sure that you have a um, one of these cat characters Nekamana or whatever they're called I'm not sure what they're called um, but as you can see it says cat character here and you're going to need to have them placed in the fusion weapon lab because that allows uh, as you can read here on the screen a monster will be able to conduct a magic change after a demon fusion so for this to be pulled off correctly I recommend that you use uh, Desco and one of those Nekamata or whatever they're called uh, cat characters in addition to the third character that you are leveling up okay so now that I've kind of went 
over the the main topics of how to pull this off I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this is going to look when you do it um, so let's go ahead and go through the process right now and create a new character and start leveling them up so you're gonna obviously you're gonna need the mana <clears throat> so create a new character um, it doesn't really matter who you're leveling up I guess it just depends on who you, you know the character that you want to play with um, so you know it's just an arbitrary choice here uh, so I'm just gonna go with a another Android um, and we'll go ahead and create that character real quick of course I was denied not a big deal we'll just pay up there we go got the new character moving right along so now that we got the new character I don't, I don't even care about any of this uh, I'll just name it something just something you can see on the screen as you can track it and follow along throughout the video uh, these are kind of arbitrary also right now at this point uh, the, but since we're at this 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 point in the video I do want to point out that this leveling technique is actually going to be very crucial because one of the steps that is required in this guy of four to reach max stats is reincarnating up uh, to a point where you have like I think 186,000 stored levels but basically uh, instead of getting wrapped around what I mean by that basically all that means is you need to reincarnate your character about 18 or 19 times total at max level to get the full stats that you can get because every time you reincarnate you can add a little bit more additional stats to your character and I, and I think it comes out to about roughly 18 reincarnations so doing this method will help speed that part of reaching max, max stats quicker if that makes sense but I'll show you exactly what that means we'll, we'll reincarnate a couple times and I'll show you so now that we've created our new character what we're gonna want to do is I'm gonna take those pieces of equipment that I showed you earlier off of this character we're just gonna go ahead and move them to the warehouse because I'm gonna need those here in a minute I'm gonna just pull them off of this character and move them over to the new character that we've made so let's just go ahead and do that real quick uh, just move all these over that over there we go now we've got our statisticians on our character that we're gonna be using as you can see that significantly boosted our stats ju just because these are uh, traps that we have on here uh, so the stats are gonna go way up and it's gonna make it easier in the land of carnage for us <clears throat> so now that we've got that done uh, now we need to make sure our character has the Big Bang ability because right now they do not. Now you can get Big Bang from uh, one of the bouncer characters. Once they reach level 500, they can learn it. And once you've got that one character that has learned it, you can spread it around to other characters via Shara World, which is over here. Now I, will, I am going to have to do that just to make sure that this character has it, but I will cut that part of the video out and I'll just go straight to the end uh, and I'll, I'll just talk you through it so you kind of see what's going on but before we do that what you need to do is you need to make sure that which whatever character that already has it and my demon character here has it you need to place whatever character you're trying to put that on into the same area in the uh, in this area that we're in now so <clears throat> Let's go ahead and find that character that we just created. Uh, bear with me as I look for it because I don't... There it is, Demo. So we need to make sure he is in the same symbol as the character that already has Big Bang. So we're going to swap him out real quick. And now that they are in the same symbol, now you just need to do your Char World run, which I may need to also get some mana to pull this off yeah I'm gonna need mana but all you're gonna do is you are going to inherit a skill and it is registered from you know whoever's in that same evil area that I was speaking on earlier so let me just go ahead real quick and get some mana and then I'll take that character through Shara world alright so let's get some of that mana real quick 
So all I'm gonna do is just go in here, run my character through here. Um, I went back to the cheat shop and I turned the mana all the way up. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna bring him out and I'm just gonna let him fight some of these characters and get some mana. All right, now that we have pretty much wiped all of these characters out one by one, I should have some mana to pull this off, to go through the Shara World, Shara World run real quick and show you how to get that ability on your character. So let's go over here. Let's go back over here to the Shara World real quick. Check and see how much mana we got. So it looks like I've got about 55,000 and we only need 5,000 so what you're gonna do once you got some mana on that character is you're just gonna do like I said is the skill inheritance I'm gonna go ahead and do that and it's just 10 floors per shower world so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through them real quick and once I get to the 10th floor I will pick it back up and show you how to get this ability all right so here on level 9 is actually where you're going to get this skill Big Bang. As you can see, this little mystery gate here. All you're going to do is you're just going to take a character. We're going to go in here. And then we're going to go talk to this strange man in here. Or strange woman, sorry. It says, you can inherit your skills from allies who belong in the same evil area. Skill inheritance. And right here, we are going to select Big Bang. And there we go. Now that character has Big Bang, and we can finish out going through the Shara world. And there you have it. We have done all 10 levels of the Shara world. And in case you didn't know, this is also a good source for emergency outs. And raising your aptitudes, which we're going to discuss at a later video. <clears throat> so, now that we have got that character through the Shara world run... He now has the Big Bang ability that we need to pull this method off. Now that our character has everything that we need, before we go into the Land of Carnage, I'm just going to go over here and check and make sure our settings are correct. So like I said previously, you only need about 400 to do this. I prefer to have the full 1000 because you're going to need mana too. The more you reincarnate, the more costly it becomes. Uh, the first couple times, it's not really a lot of mana, but w sooner or later, you're going to start reaching, like, I think, 100,000 mana or some something like that. Uh, but it becomes costly, so you're going to want to be getting that mana, too. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the Land of Carnage, and I will show you this method in action. <clears throat> So, Land of Carnage is pretty much the same stuff as the normal. It's just stronger enemies, and this is where you get your legendaries. Um, so, let's go ahead and go to that map, Mount Ordeal 4. And now that we're here, as you can see, the layout is not a 9x9, nine nine, like I was mentioning earlier. Uh, but... You can see my character's stats. You can see he's at level 1. Let's just go ahead and pull him out. And we're going to go ahead and place Desco right here. And then the Nekamata character is going to go right in front of Desco. And then we are going to fusion with the Nekamata. And then we are going to magic change into our Android. Now, as you can see, the stats went up a little bit more because of the added stats from the two characters. And we also have our Big Bang attack that matches the layout of these enemies perfectly. And now let's check our level and see what our character's at. And as you can see, that one fight took our character from level 1 to 9,999. <clears throat> now, you're going to have to reincarnate and repeat that process multiple times. So let's just go ahead and call the Senate. 
and reincarnate our character. So now, like I said earlier, it's cheaper the first few times. It's only 100 this time. But as you keep doing this, it's going to go up. And then we got another 10 bonus points that we can add to our stats. So because it's arbitrary, I'm just going to add it to attack. Complete. And our character has reincarnated. And as you can see, that character is back at level 1. So we'll go back through because like I said, I told you I do this a couple times as you can so you can see this process. Same process all over again. Bring him out, put him right in front of the enemies. Take Desco out, put her right here. Take that Nekamata, put it in front of Desco. Fusion. Magic change. Big bang. And our character is maxed level again. As you can see here. So we've done it twice now. And you're going to do that, like I said, it's about 18 or 19 times to get the full stat boost. Uh, and just to show you. We got about 600,000 mana if you look in the top right hand corner because we have uh, the cheat shop set to give us about, you know, 600% also. So as you do this a few times and you see the reincarnation cost went up, it doubled. Uh, as you do this, I think I've done this, all, you know, as max time. It gets pretty pricey because you can see for him it's 900,000. Uh, let me see if I can find a character that's already completely maxed. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much all you are going to do. You're just going to keep running through there. Uh, it's going to take a couple, as you get higher up in the level, after you've done it a few times <clears throat> and that mana keeps going up, you'll have to do it a couple times just for the mana. Um, but as far as your level goes, it's one battle if you set it up the way that I've shown you here. So other than that, that's it guys uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the video again if you haven't go ahead and like and subscribe make, make sure to check the description for any links down there and leave a comment tell me what you thought and winks out